Sean from All About Androids here, and today I'll be showing you two applications, notably TV Portal 2.0 Overview, which is uh, just covering the latest updates applied to the application, and the other is TV Portal 1.1, which has actually been released to the Play Store today. So let's take a look again at TV Portal 2.0 Alpha Build. This is again, this is just a visual uh, aspect of the application. As you can see, um, they've changed the way how it formats the popular movies in the tile format over here. Swiping towards the left will give you the highest rated movies. And for example, clicking on one of the movies should be able to give you a description of the movie. Swiping towards the right will give you the cast members. And I'm assuming how it will be working is if I click on Leonardo DiCaprio, it will be able to pull up the list of movies that he has acted in. And then swiping towards the left, it will pull up the mirrors. So for example, again, assuming here it should be working, for example, as uh, mirror one would be standard definition, mirror two is high definition, stuff like that. And that's how it should be working. Now going back, and we will go and to the TV shows portion, which you can see they've already split them into the two parts. Same as uh, movies, you get the popular tile format here. And then you get the highest rated shows. And again, same process. When you click on it, it will give you the description, etc. And of course, you have the categories. So pretty much clicking on something would be able to uh, streamline specifically those genres. Now, as of right now, again, it is not functional. Pulling out the application drawer here on the side, um, we have the feed, which they've uh, revamped already, which will pretty much have all the updates to what you're currently watching and what you should be watching. So over here, it tells you right now, have you watched episode one of How I Met Your Mother? You can either say watched, and it most likely will switch over to episode two there and say whether you need a reminder or you need to watch it. Over here, it would give it most likely recommended shows on what you've watched, and over here, recommended movies on what you've watched. And as always, you have my shows, which will be adding your favorites, watch list as well, which would be um, adding, for example, a list of movies that you plan to watch. And pretty much about it, you'll have these settings, of course, later on in the actual release version. And that's pretty much about it for the version 2.0. Now let's take a look at 1.1. I do apologize if it does seem a bit slow. That's because of the screen recording application it slows down my phone quite a bit. So there might be some uh, delays and it might seem that it is slow, but it is actually just the recording application. So this is a full revamp of the application um, currently present on people's phones. As you can see, um, it has a much nicer uh, look, easier to, to navigate. While before it was, you know, uh, looked very old gingerbread style. This is a full KitKat uh, release until they release, you know, the 2.0 version. So over here, you have the same process of favorites. And then we can see the movies list over here. And then we get the TV shows. Holding on it would allow you to add the favorites over here. And clicking on the top, we have, for example, sharing, upgrading, changing theme. So let's change over to the dark theme. And there you go. You have a dark theme set up. Now let's take a look at a movie. So let's click on Ted here, for example. Clicking on Ted will pretty much give us the list of um, hosters to access. Now, again, you do require a network streaming application for this to work. So you will need either MX Player, which is my personal favorite, or uh, you could actually use the Google Photos built-in uh, video player or the Gallery video player. Either or of those applications, you can go ahead, test it out, and see which one you prefer. So again, it will show you a list of um, hosters. Now, I will be trying one of them out. It might fail. It might pass. We will see right now. Clicking on it will pretty much give you the selection of what media player to use. Um, such as MX player photos or video player now another cool cool feature which is all cast this will pretty much allow you to stream your TV show or movie directly from your Android device uh, directly to your Chromecast connected to your TV uh, right now I do not have my Chromecast connected and I don't have my camcorder so I will not be able to show you that functionality but let's go straight to MX player and we'll hope that this poster is actually online right now to show us uh, Ted, Ted uh, being played. So I'm just going to click on that, and we're going to wait until it actually loads. And it's just about to kick in right now. And we'll see whether this one actually works. So as you can see, this one failed, which is perfectly fine, because we're bound to find uh, some that don't work, some of the hosting links. So we're just going to go back. And let's take, uh, for example, let's try something else. Hopefully this one loads. 
So sock share. Sometimes you will need to try multiple times for it to go through. Sometimes you can try once and it will go through. Just of course use the ones that seem to be working all the time for you. Uh, I'm a fan of Foot Locker, sock share as well. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, Divex Stage, but unfortunately it didn't work this time around. But let's try this one and let's see what happens. Normally it should take a couple of seconds to actually load and once you see the, the loading uh, circle there disappear, then it will be starting to uh, grab the movie for you. So at this point I'm not too sure whether it will be going through or not. Let's cross our fingers. And there we go. It's going to start playing the movie as you can see right here. The Universal Pictures coming up. And again, you can change the decoding mode. I love uh, You can always go to software or hardware only. Um, if you're... And back. This is pretty much TV Portal 1.1. To be able to get this on the Play Store, it is a beta application. Now, in order to get this, you need to do a couple of steps. One of them is to actually join the um, Google Plus beta community of TV Portal, which is right here. I'll be including the link below in the description, pretty much join this uh, community and you'll be able to get the links to actually go directly and download the application from the Play Store. You'll have to select become a tester, you'll be becoming a tester for the TV Portal 1.1 application and becoming a tester for the um, full version key if you'd like. Uh, once you've done those, they'll have a link directly to download from the Play Store, it will download straight to your device. Once you've done that, go ahead, start streaming your content and you should be good to go. Uh, I'll be having more to come in the near future in regards to the application.